Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Um, Brittany here. Uh, it's Monday, August 3rd, 2020. It's about 7.30 a.m. my time, I think. Um, don't worry, I have my coffee, so I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Um, my hair's still a little wet, so if it, if it kind of shines a little bit, you know, in the camera, I apologize. Um, also, my seven-year-old is above me. Her room is right above me. So if you hear some thumping noises, you know, calm down. It's not elephants. It's not, you know, fireworks or anything going off. It's, you know, it's just her running around. Um, why kids don't need sleep, I don't know. But uh, anyways, um, this morning, I just wanted to talk to you guys about a subject that, you know, I hear about all the time, you hear this saying all the time, and um, you know, I tend to waver on which side I'm on, but this morning I want to talk to you about the saying, it's not personal, it's just business. So let's go ahead and clock in. Okay, so you hear this a lot, you know, in in the corporate world, you know, whether state job, federal job, doesn't matter. Um, you know, normally you're, you're doing something or your supervisor wants you to complete a task and you're kind of taken back as, you know, like, well, you know, I got this going on or this going on or that, you know, this happened and they look at you and they say, hope, 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 hope. It's not personal. It's just business. And, um... You know, I tend to waver on which side I'm on, whether I'm on it's just personal, it's just business. That's just me. I know it's some people out there that's always team personal, always team business. So um, drop your comments. Let me know. Are you on team personal? Or are you on team business? Um, I remember a time when um, I was working in a previous position and um the unit that I worked with, we shared a floor with another department. And um, I remember um, our, our the whole floor was going under renovation. And uh, my supervisor at the time, you know, um, let us know this is what was going on. This is what we're going to be doing. You may have to move, you know, out of your cubicle for a while until we're finished with the renovation so on and so forth. And, um, you know, we were, we were fine with that. Me and my fellow coworkers, we were fine with that. But um, what ended up happening, like right when the renovation started, like right before they started, we were asking questions like, you know, well, what, what, you know, new furniture are we going to be getting? Are we going to be able to keep our, you know, mini fridge in the back? Or are we going to, you know, um, have to move it? Can we keep our microwave? Different things like that. So we don't have to walk all the way, you know, around the, you know, way to the, to the break room and so on and so forth. And, you know, we were told, um, well, you know, we're keeping that, you know, kind of a, not, a, you know, a secret for the lack of better words. Um, we're, you know, we're keeping that information, you know, private for right now. And basically it's on a need to know basis. And we were just like, why would we not need to know? We're the ones that have to work in the cubicles. So kind of would need to know, right? No. Oh, okay. So we were just, you know, told, you know, at the end of the day, it's not personal, it's just business. And um, at that time, I was on team personal because, you know, we come here every day, we work here, you know, 40 hours a week, and um, we're here more than we are home. And, you know, you can't talk about these situations while you're going through it, while you're at work, because, you know, you need your job and different things like that. And so you just kind of just roll with it. And it's sad because it kills morale you know, everybody doesn't want to come to work. They don't want to work there anymore, you know, because, you know, you've taken the personal out of it. And I do believe you, you, you know, when you're at work, personal does kind of come along with you when you go. It don't just stop at the door. It's like, oh, let me stop. Let me, let me take my personal off. Let me, hold on. Let me, you know, and, <laughs> you know, now, now let me go in and clock in to go to work. It doesn't work like that. So, um, anyways, so 
needless to say, you know, I'm anemic, so I hate being, you know, under vents. If anybody, you know, if you have that coworker that always has on that blanket or, you know, three jackets. Let me put my, let me put my coffee down. I don't want to waste it. That's me. So, you know, I was, I was just saying, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you get tired of going back and forth. I don't care what it looks like. Just don't put me under a vent because I'm a freeze to death. Okay. Um, and so, uh, needless to say, we went from, you know, having separate cubes where you at least had walls and had space to just like this big open space where you can literally see everybody, everything, you know, if Sydney was, you know, combing her hair, if Rodney was picking his nose, didn't matter. You could see it. And so you had no, no sense of privacy, you know, no sense of personal space. Um, you know, you're told this is new furniture, so you can't, you know, place things on it and do different things like that. And we're just like, okay. So, so we can't even put our pictures of our kids up. Is that, is that a no? Okay. And so again, remember I said, we shared this floor, you know, with another unit and that department was able to, you know, put up flowers. They still had their microwave, you know, we're smelling the popcorn popping. We're like five feet away and we're like, okay, well. So it's not that the furniture can't take it. It's just that, okay, I digress. Anyway, so let me know. Um, so my mood this morning, um, you know, it's Monday. <laughs> but I'm in a happy mood. I'm in a great mood. I'm just going to start my Monday. I have my coffee. I'm going to start working out here pretty soon. Um, so I'm doing good. So drop your moods below. Let me know. Are you team personal are you team business and let's head over to, to this uh team meeting real quick so we can recap okay all right okay so today we talked about the topic it's not personal it's just business so drop your comments let me know what side you're on are you on team personal are you on team business again like i said i tend to waver i'm not a one size fit all type of person so sometimes i feel like the situation may call for it. it's team personal sometimes i may feel like the situation calls for it. team business so um let me know what side you're on and don't forget this friday we have our first unloading session um like i said i want to start my week with you and end my week with you and so throughout the week let me know how you're feeling let me know if you have some topics that you want to discuss how's your week going um some things you want to kind of unload on friday um just let me know all right guys thanks for watching let me know are you on team personal or are you on team business um, but real quick before you go, one thing that I forgot to mention, um, one key piece of advice that I've learned uh, throughout my professional career is whether you're on team personal or team business, the business will always be on team business. And I know there's some companies out there, excuse me, that um, take care of their employees, whether it's a, you know, a company daycare or, you know, um, they, you know, you get that great pizza, <laughs> you know. Um, doing busy season different things like that but I can only speak for myself and my experiences and not to say that all companies are bad but I wanted to leave you with that just in case you're teeter-tottering on making decisions for yourself you know do what's in the best interest for you and your family as long as it's not hurting someone or hindering someone that's where I always uh, sway. That's just the way I, that's how I always make my decisions because I've learned throughout the years that businesses will always do what's in the best interest for them. So do what's in the best interest for you and yours. See y'all next time.